Hello and welcome to The Wow Show, an hour full of stories from and for truck drivers on the road. We're going to have fun saying thank you for who you are and what you do as drivers. And we're going to talk to some people who know their stuff so that we can learn more. My name is David Binyacek. I'm your host. Let's get started. Our thanks to David James, another great segment of Bar J Shop Talk with great information. Making a difference. I don't know about you, but I love to support companies that support the community. And I think a lot of people do. And when you think of that in Edmonton and as it as relates to trucking and the transport industry, Lusco Distributors is one of those companies. They are called the Trucker's Candy Store because Lusco's focus is chromes and lights, but that's not all they do. They care about their community. And this first issue of being a kid in a candy store, you're gonna meet Tina Clark. And Tina is an awesome individual, uh, a, uh, a foundation at a uh, Lesco that so many people know, so many people love, uh, and is never, ever, ever uh, going to give you anything that's boring. Tina is full of life. In this first segment, we caught up with the people at Lesco, uh, and Tina talks about their heart for the community, the charities they support, and you start to get a flavor uh, for this lady that has a real impact on the people around her. Okay. All right, uh, Tina, Melissa McCarthy, Oprah, Jen, uh, Jen Arden. Uh, on behind that tough exterior, as I know you, you've got a huge heart. Yeah, we have, uh, it's not just me. I mean, I'd love to take all the accolades and pretend like it's all me, but you know what? The reality just go ahead, do it. <laughs> no, I just can't because you know what? It started out, okay, so it started with a truck show. Um, Every year we look for an organization that we can help. We've gone to the bigger organization. That was not our finest hour. They don't have time for us. They're looking for $100,000 donations, not $5,000 donations. So that just, that, that, that fizzled really quickly. Um, moving forward over the years, we've gone to smaller organizations like Basically Babies. It's a local organization that helps children in need. Um, newborn mothers uh, with, or, or mothers with newborn children with nothing. So, so this organization became very near and dear to us because they're just around the corner. And it's amazing, an amazing charitable organization. Then rolling forward from that, we went with Youth Employment Services, again, a really stand up um, a charity here locally in the city. Then when everything went sideways with our previous venue that we were using for the truck show, um, in between that, let me go back a step, we were approached by this Leduc West Antique Society to come out and check out their venue, and we never went with it. And then finally, when everything fizzled on us, um, we decided we'd reach out to them. And the Leduc West Antique Society is now something that's very near and dear to me and to everybody in this organization. And anybody that was at last year's truck show that was there to experience it, it is amazing. It is everything about the history of trucking over the last 50 years, front and center in your face. The drivers that run it, Jim McConnell, Clint Coyne, um, there's, they, were, they were very uh, open with us. They shared everything with us, their antique trucks, the trucks that they've rebuilt, the history of their business. Jim McConnell used to move houses um, it, it is truly an amazing organization. The problem is, the fact is, that these drivers are now getting old. Um, they're all in their late 60s, mid 70s, early 80s, and there's a circle of life that goes with that, and unfortunately, all their wares are at this location, and they need, they need donations. They need charitable donations to keep that up and operating for everybody to enjoy. So going forward, we're taking our truck show to the Duke West Antique Society. And I really can't promote the location, the venue enough. They do the Christmas tree lights, which we do. We do our truck show there. They do antique tractor pulls there. They opened up all the buildings to us. They allow us to use all the museums for our truck show. It's 80 acres. 
of beautiful tree green space. It's amazing. And all that, while we were at the truck show last year, there was an 80, 80 plus year old man riding on a tractor mower, going around, mowing, stop, kick out stones, pick up these big, big stones and put them on his little mower and carry on. That's what they do. Their days of driving are behind them. Um, they're tired of it. So now they just offer all their experience, all their equipment, and all their green space and their collectible space to you. So I think it's really important, even if you don't, even if you don't come to the truck show, if you don't come to the Duke West Antique Society lights, the Kinsman lights at Christmas time, which is amazing in itself, just come out. It's going to cost you three, four dollars for the day. They have museums out there, like I said, they have antique tractor pulls. Why not just go out and see if you can help them mow the grass? Bring your RV out there for a weekend and help them clean up the properties. Those guys are old and they just cannot do it all by themselves anymore. So I know some of the folks that were at the truck show this year, they have full intentions of coming in a week before the show. They're going to set up their motorhomes and they're going to help them groom the land. Um, but there's more than just a truck show going on there. And anytime you can give them any help, donations or otherwise, I really encourage it. Um, I don't know if you, I hope you don't mind, but going forward, um, they have trees. They have these amazing trees and they have one set of tree. They have one tree that has wings that look like this, literally like angel's wings. So I was looking at it and at the truck show, I kept wandering around looking at these wings and we figured it out. What I want to do is I want to sell a tree. They're memorial trees. The trees will cost you $125. Out of that $125, $100 goes to the Duke West Antique Society. The $25 is what we've spent on the lights. They're solar powered lights. So we're going out in the spring for all the trees that I sell. We're going out in the spring. We're gonna wrap the lights into it. And then we're going to make a wooden medallion in memory of whomever you want the tree in memory of. They're gonna be sprinkled all around the truck show grounds, the tractor grounds, the campgrounds. So everywhere, um, there'll be a medallion hanging off a tree that says in memory of it can be a driver uh, a family member we're buying the one tree with the double wings and it's going to be in memory of all the drivers that have passed recently we lost a driver Daryl Shaw and some know him as Casper Hawley yeah. and um, it's really heartbreaking because these people are what who made the industry what it is today and stories from people like Daryl Shaw were entertaining like he he's done everything he's he's pulled around famous artists and famous bands and he's trucked up and down the highway and he picked out every old piece of crap with Steve Steve Weinrich and they've turned him into these amazing pieces of iron so that's another soul lost so in memory of those people we're going to do a tree and it's going to be done in the Lusco colors the white and the and the, uh, the turquoise the teal and then I encourage everybody to come in purchase a tree in memory of and we're going to do up a wood medallion biscuit about so big and then we'll have their name on it and it'll hang from the tree and it'll be solar powered so every night after the sun goes down the lights will come on. That is amazing. I can't yeah. think of a better way to make a difference. And you know what it's going to make a difference on site too because because where the trucks were parked there'd be like a tree and it's not that it was terrible it just it just wasn't lit up and like we can't we can't light it all up like a Christmas tree but the idea is to take a few branches and then bring it down to center stump and light it up so all the pathways in between the trucks will be all lit up and during the Christmas lights next year all these will come on naturally they'll just come on on their own because of the light so their memory will be there forever and if the tree needs to be removed we'll replace the lights it's not a big deal that's awesome. Having been there last year, I can attest to the fact, and if we're, you're going to be doing more uh, with this program, it's going mm -hmm. to take it from amazing to whatever super amazing is. Yeah, and it was it was wonderful. Like, Leduc has really become a large part of Lesco. Uh, I'd like to say that we're going to eventually open up there, but that'd be a pipe dream. Uh, this is tough enough for five of us to maintain as it is in keeping up on the stock. I couldn't imagine having a second location to do that to. And truly, we've been so tight for so long, I don't know that we'd trust anybody else to do what we do. Uh, we could screw it up on our own. We certainly don't need outside. <laughs> I mean, it's tough. It's a tough market, and it's even tougher now when we call our vendors and they're telling us that there's 
200 ships at the San Diego ports that have their containers on it, and they're gonna be months out before they get the product cleared. That means we're gonna be months out of having product here. When you look around and you see t-shirts hanging um, around like up here, those are spots that we're waiting for product that we just can't get right now. Yeah. And, and so rather than have all these blank spots looking like we're going out of business, I opted to fill them in with truck show pictures and pictures uh, of truck shirts from different suppliers. Um, it's all we can do for right now and just hope we can get through it. We've, we've turned our business, uh, we're trying to buy a little more local, we're trying to build in-house now. Uh, it's, it's a tough role though because I mean, we deal with companies like Shift. Shift, of course, is a Manitoba company. Uh, we buy their mats. We buy some of their stuff from them. We buy from Dieter's Manufacturing, who is an OEM supplier and builder. However, they are actually from Guelph, Ontario. Uh, Rochling Engineered Plastics. We buy all their mud, all their mud flaps. They're out of they're out of Orangeville. Um, we buy. Uh, we we don't ever. And I mean, people need to understand this. We don't ever take freight by rail or by, by plane, that's not how we roll. We support the industry and the industry is trucking. So although sometimes the timelines are unrealistic, I mean, you and I both know it's 40 hours to Toronto if you're a team driver. Yeah. So why on earth it takes seven days is beyond me, but that's the logistics that go with it, unfortunately. Yes. Um, we also have private manufacturers, Bertel from LF Collision, we, we do business with Bertel. Um, there's new upstarts coming into the market. Uh, there's a fella out of um, Lloyd Minister setting up. I'm going to give him a plug. Uh, his name is Lahan. His custom, his his business is Hollywood Customs. They're going to be doing they're going to be doing uh, work for us as well. Uh -huh. uh, he's got a mechanic shop. Um, Deep Pockets out of Saskatoon. Um, Jeff is a whiz at Western Stars. Like, I mean, he can do amazing builds on Western Stars. And he's very creative in himself. So we use him as well. Um, and we all work together. We all work together. We all work together really well. So we're, it's not that we're trying to corner the industry or put anybody out of business. or We don't see ourselves as competition. Uh, we don't see anybody as competition. I would like to think that we're all working together. And if you feel so strongly that you want to be competitive, well, good luck because you don't have us. So you are a Chrome business and good on you, but you're not competition to us. We are your friends and we will work together with you. All I ask is the same respect that we give you. That's the plug. You want to work with us? You want to You want to put your product out there? You want people to buy your product? We'll respect us and we'll respect you back. It's that simple. That's just how it rolls. We may be old school and some people might be rolling their eyes. And to you, I say, whatever. It is how we are. It's how we've always been. And that's what we built this business on. Uh, it's the integrity and the loyalty that we give to our customers and the loyalty and the integrity that we give to our vendors. Um, as much as we would love to cancel U.S. suppliers in some cases, we can't. We can't. We know that. There's been businesses over the years that have gone away on us. Uh, Big Al from uh, Top Line Supplies, rest his soul. Uh, he's another driver that we lost who was one of our biggest sales reps. When he left, we, we, we didn't have a choice but to go for after United Pacific because their product is a great product and we wanted it. So, I mean, it complimented our Grand General. They're, they're brothers in war back, back in the States and there are two of our biggest branded suppliers from the US that we get aside from Roadwork. So, I mean, there's not too much that we can't get our hands on and, and we keep reaching out to the private builders as well because there's some really good private builders out in the States. Uh, some of them like to poo poo on us because we're Canadian and we don't have the demographics that they want. You know, we don't have 4 million people crammed into one town, so they can't get the sales that they're looking for. But then there's some like Roadskin Steve um, that is more than happy to work with us. Uh, and he does what he can to provide us with what we want. And his buddy eBay um, does a lot of work for us. So it's just a really great business and we're forever reaching out and we're always trying different things. You are a community builder? Yeah, absolutely. And hey, you had another moment there, so let me add on to Oprah and uh, and Jan Arden and all of those others. You had a Sandra Bullock moment from Miss Congeniality. 
<laughs> where where she was doing her uh, her final speech, the talk, and she nailed it from the politeness point of view, and then all of a sudden she just broke out and said, "And if you touch her, I will take <laughs> your you neck." Mess you, up. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? Though it's true. Like uh, I can't. I can't. Uh, I can't imagine my life any other way. I've been doing this for so long. And, and it keeps building, you know, like um, Leslie and Daryl, the bosses, my bosses, um, are also my friends. Mm -hmm. We became friends through my employment here. Uh, they've allowed me to, to do things that most employers wouldn't consider allowing. Um, they take all my moments, uh, my late moments, which are out of a five day week or five days a week. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes we can get to four. Just after Christmas, I was rocking it. I had five days on time, but nobody was here to see it. <laughs> they were in quarantine, but then it all fell to hell because I have I have three lives going on. Is the fact of the matter. Um, I work here full time. I take care of my mom full time, and I work part time at West Edmonton Truckland in their lounge. Uh, Are you a lounge singer? A lounge singer? No, I'm a, I'm a bar dancer. <laughs> I'm a bartender. Um, yeah, we get the jukebox rock, rocking, and uh, of course, you know, there's ACDC and then there's Tina. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, the headbanger, right? Um, but, uh, yeah, you know what? Look, I've been in the industry now for so long, I don't know any other life. If you were to put me into uh, a corporate world, I would die horribly. And so would others. Apparently, in the corporate world, I can't tell sales reps to bend over and touch their toes for me. And in a corporate world, I'm not allowed to ask somebody to reach to the top shelf because I can't do it. <laughs> and, uh, you know, I can't get them to uh, do what I need to stretch for me. So, yeah, so I have to stay where I'm at. You're That's amazing. What I do. You're amazing. <laughs>